Hello everyone, Abby here with Purple Cottage Crafts and I have kind of a fun um, video to share with all of you. Well, I'm going to be using these items on some fun projects, let's just say that. So these are some different um, carpet and fabric free samples that I, that I got and all I did is went to Google and, and I typed in like, you know, free samples, free carpet, free, you know, fabric, whatever, whatever. And it brought up a bunch of different ones, but I will list the three. I actually think there's four. four. Yeah, it's the, the other ones in here. I'll uh, uh, list the four different um, websites I went to to get the free samples in case you want to do that. And a couple of them let you like look through the whole inventory in the you could have like 10 only or whatever so it was really fun to kind of pick through the different fabrics and colors and stuff that I wanted to get. So the purpose of me collecting these and doing this video is that I want to, to use these in some of my textile arts. I'm going to be doing textile craft projects, that, that kind of thing, and using them in my different collage bits and things that I like to make and include my projects and all that. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started here. We'll do this one first. So this one, it's, it says apartment 2B. I'm not sure if that's the, yeah, okay. I put the little flyer inside here. And some of these different companies that you just got what you got, you know, which, which is fine with me because I wasn't, I'm not buying this stuff or getting samples to like redo furniture or things like that. So it's totally fine. I, I was happy to get anything. Let's put it that way. So this one is apartment 2B. You've been swatched. <laughs> I haven't even looked at this one yet. The pack, the envelope, or the, excuse me, the flyer they give you, which is really cool. Cause you could definitely cut out these and use them in different collage projects and stuff. Look at that purple chair. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it. There's some purple in here. That's pretty awesome. Oh, look at that couch. It's like an eggplant -y kind of. I like that. that I like Better, better, nice color. Okay, Abby Focus. So these are the samples. Let me zoom in so you can see them better. There we go. Okay. I'll get these up over here out of the way so I can focus on these. So these are some really cool, fun little samples. Um, if they have the, the name, I'll show them to you. Um, this is just silver. <laughs> so I don't always know what, what the different fabrics, the materials. I don't know a, a lot of it. Um, but you can see this one here. Like I know what cotton and that kind of stuff is, but you know, some of the different blends, I don't know. And then here are like some fake um, faux leather pleather. Let's see here, this one's called Rice. If you like the colors and you can, um, you can pause the video and write them down if you want to get the same color samples I did. I'm very excited to be using these. I'm going to be running some of this material um, from all the all the packets in my Vagabonds. I can get some really cool die cuts and stuff. So this one's Carob. Is that how you say that color? Carob? Really, really cool. So there's that one. And this one here, this is like a linen type. This one is called Zinc. And I love this. I love that texture. It looks like basil cardstock, like linen paper. I love it. Very, very pretty. And I had to get a purpley one amethyst. So the only if they had had option it, if they had an option where you could select any kind of color or whatever you wanted, you know this girl tried to get all the purple I could. So this is really really cool. So this one I'll probably use a scented project for me because um, I'm a purple girl. <laughs> so I do commission projects and stuff. So I somebody came to me and said, um, you, you know, hey, can you make? I want to commission you to you know, make this whatever, whatever in purples. I, of course I will do that, of course, but, um, you know, I tend to hoard the purple for me. <laughs> so this little slip of paper was underneath the amethyst, and I did get an email from them letting me know that some of the ocean blue swatches I selected, they were out, so, which is fine, because again, I wasn't getting the, this with the intent of, you know, doing some adding, you know, like, um, wanting to recover furniture or anything like that. So this one's really pretty too. I like that. Kind of tealy. This is called sea foam. So I think some of these I, I might hold back to, and use them in my, um, week long craft series I do in February, or excuse me, October for Tan Awareness, because teal is the official color for trigeminal neuralgia. This one's really pretty too. I like that. That's a really pretty color. Let's see. What's this one say? They were out of the straw swatches. Oh, dang it. I wanted those really bad because I like the color of them. I didn't know about the straw, but again, I'm not complaining because it's all free. This one is Rhino. 
These are really soft too, these materials. So that's the first one from Apartment 2, Apartment 2B. Get these off to the side. And the next one is going to be from Pottery Barn. So I got quite a good sampling from them. I was actually surprised to find that they would um, even do free samples. So I love Pottery Barn. They're pretty pricey, but their stuff is really nice too. Okay, so what's this say? They gave me a little card. Oh, this one too. But that's okay, like I said, because this was all free, just for crafting. So, not a problem. But look, ooh, look theirs are nice. I got the little label. I mean, look how pretty these are. So this is, these are the ones I was able to, to select different colors and patterns and things like that. But I think the limit was like 10 or 15. I can't remember exactly. But this is really nice. Pottery barn there. And this one is the ant antique swipe, excuse me, antique stripe in blue. So that's really nice. This feels really nice. They have really nice quality stuff. I love this one. These are going to be so cool to use in my different textile projects I'm going to be working on, or textile art pieces, whatever you want to call them. There's that one. I kept Geo in gray. So there's that in the back side. This will put lighter, of course. Um, this one is light gray organic cotton basket weave so you can really find some great materials like this online for free this is probably my favorite out of all of them i love this one um i would actually have a piece of furniture in my home with this i think it's really really pretty my husband and i, I, I we like colors like that um batik print in indigo so i mean this is just great because this is a really good way for you to get materials like this for free and to use in different crafting projects. I mean, if you don't have the budget to, you know, go get remnants or anything like that, you know, this is just, it's it's all free. So it's just awesome. Vintage Grain Sack Buffalo Neutral. This is a nice one too. So these are real, these are pretty good size samples for the pur purpose um, I'm going to be using them for. So you can even stitch some of these together and um, have like a kind of like a, carpet bagger type of textile look to it too so this one's just like this one except it's in um blues yeah this is gray and this one's in blue that's what this one looks like up close there's that and this one is the grain sack stripe in red flax hold it a little longer sorry in case you want to write that down so this one's really nice and thick. This is, look at that, how thick this is. This is really nice texture. I like this too. This is really, really nice. And this is the charcoal slash flax in the green sack stripe. So there's that one. Really, really nice. Okay, so that's it for Pottery Barn. Now we're gonna move on to, this one is from Joy Bird Furniture. And I will show this to you. Let me just cover my address real quick. So, um, Joy Bird Furniture is where this, you want, um, this sort of where it's coming from, in case you wanted to know. So this is really cute. Look how they have a package. I like that. I have, these, these have been sitting here in my craft room for probably a good month or so. I just haven't had a chance to, um, I'm going to try to see if I can reuse this in my junk journal stuff. So, that's why I'm trying to cut this if I can. Oh, and I cut through the, that's okay. Um. Yeah, they've been sitting in my craft room for a while, and I just didn't, didn't get around to um, getting them um, to a video. So look at this stack right here. Look at look how many samples I got from here. It's crazy. And these are some really cool, fun, different fibers and materials and stuff. So this one is uh, Royal Peacock. Oh, wow. Oh, it's upside down. That's why. Duh, Abby. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, that's so, so pretty. And this is really nice and thick. I wish you guys could feel this. This is really, really nice. I like that. That's really, really nice. Um, so the Royal Peacock. Okay, I'll quit petting the fabric. <laughs> this really, this feels really nice in your hand. This would be a great, like, um, for like a chair or something like that. That is just really, really nice. I like that. This is Taylor Tonic. This is Tier 1 Taylor Tonic. I don't know what the Tier 1's for, but and there's this one here. So these are a lot of different teals and blues because I want to use, I'm a, I want to save some of these for my um, trigeminal, neuralgia, tri trigeminal Neuralgia Awareness Craft Week I do in October. This one's Notion Thunderbird. And this is some I'm going to be using in some um, different textile projects. 
This one is Key Largo Zenith Teal. And speaking of my trigeminal neuralgia, my um, num numbness I have, um, permanent numbness on the left half of my face is pretty pronounced today. So I'm, I feel like I'm having um, a hard time talking a little bit, but I'm going to push through because I just, I want to. <laughs> having this really um, affects almost every, well, it affects every aspect of my life. And sometimes I get determined to um, not let it control if I can help it. Oops, these are two together. All right, so this is the Sunbrella, Sunbrella Premier Indigo. There's that one. Really nice. And this one is Key Largo Denim. And again, I'm showing the names just in case you want to write these down. Um, oh, look at this one. So pretty. Key Largo Grape. Look at that. That is so pretty. I love it. Love, love it. And let's see, is this two or one? Okay, this is two, one. Lucky Turquoise. And this has that felt backing like that first sample I showed you. So this is a really nice thick piece here. And excuse my nails. I've been copy dyeing for the last week. And um, I'm still going at it. So my nails are kind of um, turning like coffee. So Cord Cordova e Eclipse. That's a really fun texture. That's like got a lot of um, fibers that are kind of high like elevated a little bit so it's a really really nice texture on that one this one is Dawson Slate there's that one and I'll try to hurry sorry I'm not trying to go so slow this is Bentley Indigo and this is another one I love the feel of this this is a really nice thick um, upholstery fabric really really cool got some stripe and here's a Vibe Aquatic Really nice one as well. Love the feel on that. Um, here's another purpley one. This one is called Royal Lavender. That's beautiful. Oh, I would love to have like an old, um, you know, vintage uh, couch with like all the wood all, all around it and stuff, or like an old um, dining room chair, which I have one for my craft room actually. This would be so beautiful to have one of those items. Um, in my craft room. So I'm actually going to make sure I hang on to this one because I really like how that looks and feels. That's really, really beautiful. This one is Bennett Indigo. Tell the texture there. And this is Essence Aqua. I like those little darker bits throughout that. And then this one is Bella Navy. This is, this is just like that first one, that last purple one I showed you. This is such a nice, thick, soft, uh, soft plush. Ooh, I like this one too. This is Impact Mist. That's really cool. I love that. So those are my samples from Joybird. Now and move on to the last one here. This is from Smith & Noble. And I'll pull all the packaging out here. You'll see their name on there as soon as I get it um, on the table. So this is from Smith & Noble and this is how it came. It was in that packaging and then it came just like that. So there's a lot in here too. Holy cow. So um, the, these are like window, different window treatments and things like that. So and that's just my yeah what I got. So there's the book on that one. And what's this here? Okay it's like a 15% off coupon or something. So look at these pieces. These are bigger than, than I thought they were going to be. This is amazing. Oh, I love this stack. This is out of all the um, prior stacks of samples I showed you, even including the purple ones, this is my favorite by far. I love these. I'm so excited about these. This is awesome. Okay, so this one here, I know my girl Michelle Scott will love this one because it's got Paris on it. And I always have Michelle's um, YouTube channel and her other social media linked in the bottom uh, um, of my description box. So if you want to go check out her channel, that would be awesome. So this is Paris White, and there's the number for this one. This is so cool. I'm so excited for this stack. I love it. Um, this one is the, I don't know how you say that, Japur Paisley Eclipse. I don't know how you say that word right there. There's a number for that one. And then this is gorgeous. Oh, I love these prints. I love, this is definitely something my husband and I would like to have a, a piece of furniture like in our living room or something. This is really, really beautiful. I, I think the ones that I really like like this, I'll either take a picture of them with information. I want to save them back though because, um, or at least save that information because that's really, really nice. There's this one, Charlotte Ochre. 
I love this. I, I love how when they gave me this sample that they were able to include some of the graphic on there. It's just really, really cool. This one's nice. They're all lovely and nice. This one's uh, Batik Floral Harbor. This one's really pretty too. Feels really nice in your hands. And this one is Bukhara Spa. Is that how you say that? Bukhara? There's that one. I know I'm kind of showing the back fast, but you can pause the video to write that information down. This is really cool because you see the stripes right there going through it? You can actually feel those raised. I love that. And here is Ankara Oak Buff. Sorry, I've got to turn my phone on silent. This is so cool. I'm so excited, you guys. I cannot wait to get started on some of these textile projects that I want to work on. I just, I'm so excited. This is beautiful. It's almost like I, I forgot the ones that I chose because it's been a little while, but this is beautiful. This one is embroidered forest parchment. This is part of my favorite out of um, all the packs so far because I love how that is just the, uh, the embroidery work on this. This is just absolutely gorgeous. I cannot imagine how much it would cost like redo a chair or something with really nice fabric like that. Um, this one is Tahiti Navy. That's really cool too. The whole picture in the on the website this looked like it was just one big distressed kind of piece. I love how it looks. This is gorgeous. Look at the border on this one. This is Lena Mist. Lena? Lena? I'm not sure. Look at that beautiful embroidery work. It's just gorgeous. These are some really nice size samples too. I'm really surprised. Pleasantly surprised. Elegance Champagne. Champagne. This is so gorgeous. Just beautiful. And this is Peacock. Is it Jehovah? Is that how you say that? I think it is. Just really, really pretty. And this one is Peacock Lat Latigo. That's gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Okay. Now we have um, Sarong Biscay. There's that one. And I'm trying to hurry. Everybody, it's, it's quite the stack. <laughs> so um, this is Lahala. I think that's how you say that. Lajala, Lahala, I think it's silent and it's natural. This is a great base piece. This will be great to stamp on. I'm going to do a separate video on different ways you can use these types of materials. So I probably won't say any more about how I want to use them until that video. But... Alita, a lot of my shirt, and then pumice. These were, oh man, you guys, I am just so in love with these. That just look at that embroidery work. It's just gorgeous, just gorgeous. And magnolia coral. It's another nice one here. Love that text, that texture in the striping. Um, here we have magnolia leaf. I tell you, it was so fun going through the. Um, uh, different samples and stuff online. It was a lot of fun to pick to peek through those, and because they, they just have so many different types and, and categories of material. So, this is Inya Embroidery Soft White. This is another beautiful one. Look at that. Just gorgeous. I love that linen right there in the middle. This is um, Arland Clay. I'm gonna turn these over because it bugs me when the backs are up. I don't know why. It just bothers me. <laughs> And look at that beautiful work. Just gorgeous. And here we have Persia Spa. I love this one too. This is a really nice color. There's that one. And let's see, this one is uh, Lola Soft White. Look at, this is another really nice, soft, beautiful pattern. Oh my goodness, just so beautiful. I can see why, um, you know, chairs and up, upholstered fabric and whatever, I can, I can see why they're so expensive because this is just gorgeous, you know, material to use. So I got, I found a couple different purple ones in here. So I'll have about that one. This is Summerland, Summerland, or however you want to say it, Lavender. Another gorgeous shade here. Love the lilacs and the lavenders in the purple wheel. That's just, those are kind of my favorite. If I had to choose it, it's a favorite hue or tone of purple. It's like the lilacs and the lavenders, but I love it all. Um, Echelon Wineberry, is that how you say that? Echelon? 
I think so. This is another gorgeous kind of purpley stripe. I love that. And let's see. Oops, this one's upside down. That's okay though. This is Velocity Champagne. This is a nice texture too because when you run your fingers over the stripes like this, it's raised above. So it's, it's just a really nice, fun texture when you hold it in your hands. And here we have Finch Canyon Clay. This is really cute. I'm so glad. When I saw the, um, this full-size piece of this fabric, I, I was hoping I was going to get one of the birds on there. And so they did, and I'm really happy about that. That's awesome. Here we have Mia Poseidon. I just watched the Poseidon Adventure on um, Adventure on Turner Classic a couple weeks ago. It's a pretty good movie. There's that one, and here we have. We're down to the last few here. This is Rhapsody Purple Potion. This is gorgeous too. I really like it. Um, I probably wouldn't if I had the choice. I probably wouldn't use this as a fabric in my um, future craft cottage I'm going to have. Um, I, it, but it's beautiful though. I really do like it. I like the, I, I probably would use this mostly to some projects and stuff. I probably wouldn't want to have a piece of furniture with that. I'm not sure I'm telling you that because you guys don't care, but I'm just talking out loud. So Rhapsody Mink. This is a gorgeous material too. Just be by far, my favorite samples are from Smith & Noble. Um, not just because of the size, but the, the material. Just gorgeous. Just really, really beautiful. I never even heard of them before until I started Googling for free samples. Chatsworth Jojoba. I know how to say it, but it's not coming out right. Cause I've heard it pronounced properly before. So and there's this one. And then last but not least, this is Sasha and uh, Pumice. And this is gorgeous. Oh, look at that. Those, that silver in there. Just gorgeous, you guys. So hopefully through this 20-something uh, minute video now, just to show you samples. Oh, I swear. I'm so chatty. Um, hopefully I, I can um, encourage you to go to, um, you know, Google or whatever and just search for different, um, uh, you know, fabric sites, you know, or like different upholstery places or whatever and like like I said, all I did it, all I did was to put um, free fabric samples in Google, and it brought up a ton of different places. So these are the four that I chose. Um, you know, Pottery Barn, Apartment, ooh, Apartment Two B, and then this one is the um, something bird. What was it? Pretty bird. I'll put it in the video when I go to edit it. Let me look real quick though. Joy Bird, and then this one of course is Pottery Barn. So this is this is really nice stack of some really beautiful fabrics and different textiles that I got for free. I can make a ton of projects from this kind of thing. So, um, yeah, yeah, I would encourage encourage you, if you don't already, to go out there and look on Google and find some of these free fabric samples for yourself. So I'm going to go and wrap this up because this is way longer than I wanted it to be. I just get so excited about things like this and I just can't help it. And I like to just look at them and touch them and all, the, all that fun stuff. So, uh, again, I will link the different... Um, places that I showed in this video in the description box below in case you want to look um, for anything that I got samples of and um, yeah that's it so you're going to be seeing these in some upcoming future textile art pieces and projects and all that good stuff and I will see you all next time so happy scrapping happy planning and happy crafting and happy well or happy fabric in <laughs> I know I'm such a dork I always do that at the end so I will see you all next time bye